In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a internet service called Conjointly to implement a conjoint analysis design. Here are the attributes and the levels that we have discussed in the lecture video for a hotel. So we have six attributes, brand, location, average rating of the hotel, the number of ratings, the rating distribution, and the price. And, and in this case, each attribute has three levels. So the brands are Hilton, Marriott, or Airbnb. The location can be beachfront, near the beach, or city center. And the average rating out of five points are 4.5, 3.9, and 3.2. And the number of ratings are 110, 60, and 10. The rating distributions are bow-shaped, U-shaped, or flat. And the price points are $80, $120, and $160. So these are the attributes and the levels we're going to use for the design. The internet service we're going to use is called Conjointly. So you can go to conjointly.com. First, we need to sign up for an account. So sign up for free. To sign up, you can use your Google, Microsoft, or LinkedIn account, or you can use your email address. Just in case you're using some arcane email, I'm going to use our Gmail to sign up for our account. So the course Gmail we have is OK. I'm going to set a password. I'll pause the video here and click Next. So now it asks your name and company name, your industry, etc. I assume you can put in a pseudo name. Okay. And the company name, let's just put the real one. And the industry is. Marketing research provider, agree with this, register. And now I have successfully registered. I need to activate through my email. Okay, I have activated my account. Now I can log in. So now I have logged in, so I have a free account. What I can do is to launch a new experiment. And what we need is to take advantage of a conjoint analysis design. This says generic conjoint here. So select this one. Language is English. Set this OK. Apply. So once you are in generic conjoint, it gives you a sample design directly. So it's fairly straightforward to edit the sample design and to generate your own. So the product type was is hotels. And I can edit these existing products and add new attributes as well. And on the right are the corresponding levels of each attribute. So the first attribute is brand. OK, I'm going to edit the levels as Hilton, Marriott, and Airbnb. And the second attribute is location, and they are Beach front, near the beach, and the city center. You can add more levels. I just happen to have three levels, so I don't need to make any changes. And of course, you can delete the level here. And next is Average rating and 
and it is a feature instead of price. So it's 4.5, 3.9, and 3.2. Now I need to add feature and number of ratings. So I have 110 and 60. I need to add another level. Click here and 10. So I add another attribute. And here what I need would be the rating distribution against a feature. And I'm going to type in the bow shape, the U shape. And the level is another level of flat. And finally, I'm going to add the last attribute. And this attribute is price. And I'm going to call this price. And the levels are $80 and $120 at a level of $160. Now we have finished the design. It also says the recommended number of responses is 100. And now we can click on Save and Prepare for Launch. And uncheck this. And then click Launch Experiment. And now you can see that you have a shareable link. You can open it. You can copy it. For the assignment purpose, click Copy. Now if I open a new tab, and then right click and paste and then enter. So as you can see here, it will lead you directly to the interface. And uh, this is what we are going to see. It's going to see a hotel, number of ratings, brand, location, rating distribution, average rating, price. And then the respondent can choose one of them, can choose none of them. And this is how we conduct a basic design for a conjoint analysis. And once people complete this, going back to the experiment setting, you are going to start to see the results in my experiments. Here you're going to see the outcome here. And this is the one we have just created. That concludes the video.